Hi friends, how are you today? Today, we are going to our popular program on unblocking blocked tube. In women, we have left and right tube. If you go for HSD and you have found that your left and right fallopian tube has no peritoneal spill, that means that the two tubes are blocked. If it is one that has no free peritoneal spill, that means you have one that is blocked. If it, that you have a problem of a, the ovary, ovary or ovarian syndrome, we are talking about how we are going to use this natural remedy to come to a solution to it. But today, our special focus is on how to unblock blocked fallopian tube. And in the process, the result has to be that you have blocked tube, really. So if you want to give you the medicine, it has to be natural herbs, and it works very, very well. Some people, between two, four weeks, the tubes will open. Some others, it could be between four to eight weeks, the tubes will open. But in some cases, we give you medicine to detoxify the system, to clear infection, because the cause of blood tube is infection. So the, if the infection is treated between the man and the woman, that means the problem will be half done. Because if you treat only the man, you did not treat the woman, and pregnancy did not occur, as earlier as expected, there could be continuous blocking of the tubes. But if the man takes treatment, the woman takes treatment, I think the issue of the tuber blockage will be easily addressed with the use of these natural herbs. The herbs we are looking at are not too far from us. One of them is our popular Nigerian seed. It's working very well. That is our Nigerian team, that's it. Then another one is Ekpako. Ekpako looks like cocoa yam, but it's natural herbs. It's for flattening tumor. Then, we come to this one, is our berry. Our berry is very, very bitter. If you do it like this, it's like legume. You peel it, it's like legume. It's called abere. All these herbs, when you put them together, they facilitate the detoxification of the tubes. They dilate the tubes because a lot of things can be the cause of this blood tube. If there are problems of endometriosis, it can spread within and outside the tube. Endometriosis, the growth of a uh, the flesh, the type of the, gro the flesh that is inside the womb, proliferating, growing outside the womb, that is what is called endometriosis. It can, along the side, come across the tubes, which is very tiny, as tiny as the strand of an air, and block it. Then, endomyosis, which is yeah. enlargement of the womb, abnormality of the womb. A kind of growth in between the flesh of the womb, outside and inside, the growth in between it is the endometriosis. Endomyosis, endomyosis. Endomyosis and endometriosis, they are from the same family because they are all abnormalities of the pelvis. But endometriosis has to do with outside of the womb, while endomyosis has to do with in between of the womb, in the middle of the womb. That is the, the flesh of the womb. That is endometriosis endomyosis and that one gives a lot of pain so all those things are abnormalities of the womb and when you have it it can proliferate it can lead to block tube apart from infection so that's why we are looking at all these herbs when we are working on the block tube we're also working on some of the growth and abnormalities or inflammations or swellings or stds associated with the blocked tube so we also use our cocoon roots this is akogun root. Akogun root is root from the wild forest. It's very, very tiny. You buy it like this from the open market. And this is akogun root. 
you wash properly, you sterilize, and then you put it into powder, it's very bitter. Make sure you don't get the fake one. We also use BTS as a kind of protein tizer. This is the one you buy in dollars. It's very expensive. It's not from Nigeria. Then we also use uh, the Bulala. It's from the potash family, a particular quantity. Then our popular aloe vera. Aloe vera is very good for everybody. You can say good night with aloe vera. And then aloe vera will say good morning for you in the restroom. Have a beautiful day. That's the end of today's program. Bye-bye.